Hey guys, over Thanksgiving, were you in your garage or out in your driveway, frying up a turkey, beer in hand, having a good old time, and thinking, you know, I wonder if I could make my own beer? The answer is yes. Yes, you can. And you want to know a little secret? That turkey fryer of yours is the most expensive part, and you already own it. So, you might as well remove that cost from the list. So let's keep going. Figure out what kind of style you want to make. Do you want to make a lager? Do you want to make a stout? Do you want to make an ale? Do you want to make an IPA? The cool part is, once you know what you want to make, or you might even be looking through and find one that you weren't even entirely sure about, Brewer's Best makes up these nifty little kits for beginners, just like you, who are thinking about maybe getting into it, but aren't entirely sure. For between $20 and $40, you can get everything for it. They give you all the materials to make it, they give you the yeast to ferment it, and they even give you the instructions that are easy to read and give you everything just beyond the normal brew process. It even tells you how to, you know, what to clean beforehand, what to do afterwards, even how to bottle it. Now, the first thing I recommend you do after that is buying yourself a fermenting bucket. A fermenting bucket is different than your regular hardware store five gallon pail because the fermenting bucket has a special liner on the inside that keeps it from having all those plastics leach into your brew. Your hardware store bucket ain't going to do that. And trust me, you don't want that. So, the next thing I recommend you get is some sort of brew wash. I prefer alkaline because you can use it with cold, warm, or hot water. As where the other styles, you can only really use warm or hot water. So, if you're someone who's a little bit impatient and you're like, you know what, I don't feel like waiting in the sink to warm up. I want to go just out back and use the garden hose, I highly recommend you use the alkaline wash because it will still clean everything. Another thing I recommend is getting yourself sanitizer. I specifically use Star Sand because a little bit goes a long way. 15 milliliters or half an ounce makes up two and a half gallons of sanitizer. And you're thinking, that sounds like a lot of sanitizer, do I really need that much? Trust me, it goes quick. So, another thing I recommend you do is find an old spray bottle, whether it be a Windex bottle or something that you just have laying around that you're going to be throwing out, cleaning out really well, and then you put in the sanitizing solution. So, your two and a half gallons that you made up, take your uh, spray bottle, put it in there, fill it up with the sanitized water, and you just saved yourself a lot of time and a lot of money because what you're going to do then after you have your equipment cleaned is take the sanitizer and spray it all around there and let it sit for 10 minutes and you're going to have yourself everything sanitized and it didn't take that much time or effort to do so. One thing I will say about if you're using star sand is don't fear the foam. You're going to look in there and go, oh my god, there's all this foam in there. I have to like, you know, wash it out. Don't do that because the sanitizer, you're then going to wash out the sanitizer and you're going to be adding other things to it and the sanitizer has not done its job and you might as well have not done it at all then. So don't fear the foam. Little secret. If anything, it's going to help you later on. I'll get into that in another video. So, let's review a little bit. Oh, before I forget, your candy thermometer you have sitting in your cupboard is going to be important too because that's how you're going to be able to figure out the exact temperatures that you need. Again, that'll be for another video, but something I definitely want to mention. So, Let's actually review now. Your turkey fryer in your pot, you already own, so you might as well leave that cost out. The bucket costs $13. The sanitizer is $17. The wash was $22. And that bag 
it has been lasting me a long time and it is mostly empty so keep that in mind and then we'll call it twenty dollars for your supplies at most forty so that's seventy two dollars at most ninety two dollars for everything you need to make beer that is under a hundred dollars to get into making your own beer now isn't that cool if you want to get a little more technical with it I would recommend you get a hydrometer hydrometers cost between eight and twelve dollars for a basic one like this and it is one of those things that will also tell you the exact APV of your beer and you're thinking wait how am, how does that work well that's gonna be for another video but a little secret you take two readings you don't just drop it into the final product so after all that we looked at how you easy it is for you to get into brewing you can pick up a kit for twenty dollars you already have most of your equipment on hand that you need and the other stuff you would have to pick up costs minimal amounts of money so for under hundred dollars you can brew your own beer so get out there get brewing have fun bring a buddy along and i will see you next time